Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 284, our June meeting, June 18th. And this meeting is recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. You know who you are and everybody else that's here like Ron and Jacob and Bert. Welcome. It's great to have you here. Uh, roll call. If you're here, go ahead and say hi. Thank you, gentlemen. It's great to have you joining us. And any ladies out there, go ahead and say hi. Um, agenda today, uh, we're going to do triage because that's what we have. That's all we have going on. We'll do questions and comments. Before I continue, um, last month when we had this meeting, we were under a spam attack from the GitHub discussion. Our GitHub discussions was under a spam attack. That has all been resolved and cleaned up. So GitHub discussions have been on back on for, I don't know, couple weeks now so um or three weeks i don't know a while i didn't want to put an extra bullet for that it's all back to normal github actually started responding quickly because apparently it turned into a massive attack across all of github and they got on top of it including a follow-on attack that showed up later and was very minimal and was much easier to clean up so thank you to github for continuing to do all those things they do for us let's go do triage bob you ready I think so. All right, here we go. Triage. We have a few issues to talk about. Um, one left over from last week. And I was trying to remember what this was here. And I'm wondering if we just forgot to remove the triage label because Jacob said he might like, um, was going to update the doc maybe or something. And that was about it. I don't know if there's anything else to do. I think that was it, right? Yeah, Maybe. let's just take triage off. I'll add the build process tag. Yeah, I think so. Documentation. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, next item is... Five two eight Wix variable override appears to be ignored in bundles and Wix libs. Hmm. I suppose that's possible. Maybe another knock-on effect of the virtual. Oh, duplicate. Okay, cannot prove this conflict. Sure, oh, duplicate. All right, so it's overridable and it's not. Hmm. Okay. Call off the top of my head how you get overridable Wix variable. Uh, Are they symbols? Do they create symbols? Yeah, they create symbols. There's the Wix variable symbol underneath. And and it should be overridable like any other overridable things. But maybe there's something wrong. Uh, go ahead and give it to me. I'll put this with that other one that I have in it. I'll just make sure I add a test to make sure we have one of those. I wonder if it has to get into Wixlib to create the problem. Maybe that's the magic trick. Okay. Uh, uh, that seems weird. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at it. All right. Um, that's 852. I'll put it in that bucket when I get around to that. All right. 8538. When using MSI internal UI, the internal UI but is... Yeah. The, <laughs> with the internal UI bootstrap application on high DPM on it, the UI is small. Two is too small. No, two more O's. But anyway. Um, so... I'm guessing that this XC is missing the manifest. I thought I made sure the manifest was in there. I think it's the other way around. I think it's manifested as being DPI aware, but MSI is not. So, could it, oh, this is the MSI. It, yeah, it's it's tougher to see in the screenshot, but if if you oh. look at, at you know an in internal UI on a high DPI machine, which high DPI, it, it's just anything greater than you know, 100% um, scaling. It's fuzzy. So it's doing, you know, Windows is doing the system uh, scaling. Um, and I think when we tell Windows that we're DPI aware, Windows goes, okay. And it doesn't do the normal scaling that it normally does with MSI. Oh, weird. It's, yeah. It's a little weird. That was my guess. Cool. All right. Well, someone knows more about DPI stuff. Sure. Because so the internal UI, so everything's set the same. Then I wonder what's different. 
it from other, oh, they don't say if it's different from previous versions of Wix. So this could have always been a problem with internal UI. Well, which was four. Oh, right, which was four. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, that could be a problem. I wonder if there's a problem with internal UI. Yeah, like the way it, yeah, you're right. All right, that's that's interesting. So we'll have to try that out. I don't have a high DPI monitor, so these are always kind of tricky for me to even, I'm like, I don't know, I don't see it. <laughs> um, so, all right, cool. That can go for grabs, that's a cool one. That's a fun one. All right. Um, 8539, multiple primary references were found for feature test update, feature test app, feature test app. <sighs> okay. I have two projects, I have a common and a library, okay. They have, all right, so they have features. What, what What's the? It, so I, I commented on this, pointing oh. out that this is really complex to, to yeah, try to reproduce. Um, I know from firsthand experience that features in a Wix lib work fine. Yeah. So it's not a feature thing. Um, one of the things they have is merge modules. Uh, oh, but okay. Uh, you know, we could swap them out, but so I kind of left a comment hoping that they would come back with something that's more reproducible. Okay, so we leave it open until next one, I guess. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah, fourteen hours ago, we give them a little time. Yeah. Um, eight five five eight file search does not work in merge modules. Yay, merge modules. Wix four. Hmm, okay. So there's something wrong. No, there's something I thought fixed in this area in five. Was there not? Nah. Maybe not. No, it's something else. I think. All right. No, I've seen this. It's actually not file search. It's directory search. Ah, that's okay. problematic. So there's just um. One of the, I, I looked at it. one of the fields, it should be null and it's actually an empty string. So Interesting. it's kind of like, eh, yeah. Um, I'm willing to take this and look at All it. Right. It was mildly interesting, even though it's merge modules. Yeah, merge modules be. All right, cool. Eight, five, six, seven. Calling install h inf section setup API function makes the bundle installer run a second install instance. So they're running the run key again in setup API. You know, we I feel like that's happened before. Like the setup it API. It did, and and what seemed to happen is that we it died out with Windows Seven. This oh, was I like stopped. P era thing. I see. And it appears to be back. I, I'm not entirely sure. They, what what we the experience we had with with burn three in Windows XP was that something in the OS or whatever would read the run once key and you know trigger. Mm -hmm. And yep. that would cause another instance of burn to appear. Yep. Um so I asked for logs and asked again to see if there were any other logs if it's the same issue sounds very familiar and i pointed out to the yeah you pointed out uh, to the other issues and the they have issue we had oh which... 15 hours ago all right fine we'll see if they get better luck i i'm just like okay so go tell them to fix setup api we're, i mean we're not doing anything different like like we had the same thing back when they were doing that before like this is what right. we need to do for burn so they need to stop doing what they did in a long time ago and i this is external like they need to go fix it it doesn't make sense to run the run key again. It just doesn't. Um, I'm sure they would have an argument, but because it's just the run once key. It's not the run key. It's Sorry, run the run once. once key. But I also agree it doesn't make sense. doesn't make any sense. sense. Anyway, this is going to be external in the end. We're not going to fix anything. All we're going to be able to do is point at and say, yeah, they ran the run once key. But at, unless... I guess we could see if there's something really goofy, but I assume well, this log file was like the initial log file. <laughs> like, I installed. Like, yeah. 
that they provided. Yeah. Yeah, that's not helpful. <laughs> um, I need but to we know. talked about this before, it, and it basically just got you know pushed down the list because, hey, it stopped doing that. Yeah. So it comes, you know, is this back? Did they decide Windows 7, 8, 8, 1, and 10 were like, you know, not enough. We'll go back to the old weird behavior. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But it's going to turn out to be external, probably. I don't disagree. All right. We'll see what, I guess it's a little interesting to see what they got in the log files. But whatever. Yeah. All right. Eight, five, six, nine. Update Wix v6 dependencies. Uh, I was just going through and found a number of things that were out of date. So I thought, hey, I should write this down before I forget. Um, and wrote down. And then I also wrote down the thing that I always forget to make sure I don't forget to not update the MS build tasks references because those have to stay old because they're old in Visual Studio and or in um, MS build. Anyway, creates conflicts if you move those forward. So For desktop know. MS build? Desktop MS Build, yes. Desktop yeah. MS Build gets upset. Framework MS Build. Yeah, and fra yeah, whatever. Framework, whatever you want to call it, not the .NET Core one, this one. If you keep using the old things, everything works. You try to move forward, it just doesn't work. So don't touch those, Rob. Update all these. There's a bunch of them we should update. So that's basically what I'm saying here. And I open an issue because I'll forget if I don't open an issue. So yeah, that's what that is about. Um, 8574, per user installation, Rollback does not remove product registration from registry. That's okay. Yeah, kind of my reaction. Um, my initial reaction was, well, Wix doesn't. Yeah, this is involved at that point. Yeah, right. This um, is all Windows installer block. Wait. No, th then then Porter came back and said, "Oh, but it worked in Wix three. Like, oh, all right. Well, that's worth another look. It turns out, no, it didn't work in Wix three either." But okay. created one in advanced installer and says it works. Well, okay. All right. So I guess you're intrigued enough to poke at this a little bit. Is that what I'm hearing? A little tiny bit. Okay. Only because I cannot imagine. Yeah, this is um, bizarre. <laughs> yeah, it's it, uh, completely unclear to me what the differences could be yeah uh, so i'm i'm willing to at least look at it to determine maybe we'll learn something the theory something really really I, strange i can't rule it out yeah all right that I, <laughs> and, I something. yeah it's still an installer after all um right okay. exactly so this is not this title's wrong then or is it correct it's uh, it, okay it's correct it's the way to get there is no, no, it, okay. it, it fails. I mean, okay. so you look at the logs and it basically after um, register product, you roll back and it should be cleaning up all the registry entries mm -hmm. that register, pro register product created. And it's, oh, there's an excerpt, yeah. And it's just like, uh, no, I don't know. And then system error blank, like, oh. Yeah, that's awesome. Couldn't record the H result. Thank you. Okay. Last use source, although yeah, okay, it's a source list. Maybe it doesn't matter, but I don't know. Well, and of course it's rollback, so it's not fatal. So it's not fatal. Rollback, yeah. quote unquote, continues, but All right. okay. All right, eight five seven six. Use after free and create user. So I assume this is in the code. Somewhere. I'm guessing this is in a custom action somewhere. Yeah. And what are we looking at? Escaped allocation free that invalidates. So this is an out. Yeah. This is, okay. This is an old function or someone else wrote it because this isn't Wix style. Um, because this should be an SCZ. I don't know why it's not. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, it's, it's old, but the PPWZ is common. In no. Oh, right. This, this, this is really, okay, it's very, very old. It's before SCZ 
was yeah. steroids. All right. So this just needs to be an alloc, string alloc, and then hand that up. Basically, it needs to be standardized to be more modern. Okay. Yeah. Good catch. Subtle. Yeah. Cool. So just needs to be an HR sterilic string on it and hand it out and then free that string when it gets back out of there. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, just give it to me. I'll take a look at it. I want to look at this code, see if there's other things like this in there. I just want to pull okay. that real quick. All right. Um, and we're getting lucky that the free isn't bad enough, I guess. Yeah. All yeah. right. 8577. Seven. So, yeah, this guy's wanting to add user group creation, which is great. And group to group membership creation, which is interesting. Um, so I have a whole whip here. Um, user groups and grouping authorizations. Yep. And yep. Local uh, domain groups, all that kind of good stuff, right? So add a group to a component, which you cannot do today. Um, set, That's kind of yeah. user works, right? If it's inside a component, it's to create the uh, user. If it's outside, it's a locator. Exactly. So yeah. this is allowing you to put group inside a component, which makes sense. Um, fine. Um, domain, yep, name, ID. ID should not be, well, okay, fine. Be generated. Um, comment, fine. So this is basically copied from user, it looks like. User, yeah, yeah. Create group, why would you put it in here and not create it? Okay, I don't. Hmm. I think that would be to keep the same element, which is consistent with user. Yeah, I guess it's consistent Therefore a user. good choice for group, but questionable for both of them, I think. Uh, yeah, that's probably the right thing. These things are tricky because deleting them is hard. Remove yeah. comment. Yeah. So this is picking up all the things from old. All right. From, yeah. It's the correct thing. He, he's following the pattern of user and user's a little weird. So group's a little weird, but they're both kind of dangerous in the Because deleting. they're a little weird. Um, well, they're, they're complicated because they, I, I believe groups get ACLs, right? You can use them in ACL or can you? Maybe they don't get ACLs. I don't I don't know if they have ACLs. I know user is complicated because you can't roll back. Right, because they have an ACL or a, a whatever the password. No, not just no. It's not the password. It's the fact that if you delete the user and you create it again, you get a whole different SID. So oh, sure, sure, sure. I I don't remember if groups get SIDs or not. Okay. So that's I, gonna be an interesting challenge. Um, okay. But password is also a problem, right? Password. You can't roll back the deletion of a user because you don't have, you, you'll get a different SID, but you don't have the password to recreate the user. If you don't have the password, then that's a challenge too, yes. Okay, you okay, have, yeah. You might have a password. True, true. Um, current proposal, extend the existing Wix4 group table mm, to add additional columns. That's probably fine as long as they're added at the end. Yeah. Um, Okay, yeah, that's interesting. Or uh, if they're added, you know what? No, added, we should just create a Wix okay. six group, right? <laughs> Sorry, I chuckled because why would it be Wix six? Why not Wix five? We're just incrementing the four to the four to five, right? Or are we saying, oh, this was introduced in Wix six, and therefore it should, the that's prefix the easiest, should be Wix six? That's just the easiest place to put it. The name, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> The name doesn't matter it, in the end. It's like, okay, whatever. It, it really doesn't. It was just a joke because, you know, the four was completely arbitrary. Yeah. We just needed yeah. something that we could, you know, extend as yeah. new versions came in. Um, and, you know, we could do the com thing, but. Yeah. Group, group EX, group EX, group EX, 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 EX two. <laughs> oh, EX2. It yeah. goes to EX2. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, they're like they're like Roman numerals. No, I think if we just go through it, I think it's just Sid. Yeah, yeah. Groups do have Sids. I thought so. Okay. If that makes sense, yeah. So, uh, so I think it's Wix six group. Yep. Uh, are I'm you taking that. notes in the? <laughs> these are, these are things where yep. we're actually starting to do something here. So right. Wix six group. 
Um, and only use that. So that's straightforward. That dodges all the problems. The ability to add a nested group on to another group. Uh, so the I'm that's more I'm, like adding a user to a group, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's group ref. It's just, it's, hmm. yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. Um, okay. Wix six group membership. Uh, I'm like I I get the challenge with the naming of this thing, but I don't think you want to call it membership because users aren't part of this table, only groups. Um. Oh, it'd be group members? No. No, you can't. It can't be the generic one. It's like this is the group right. group table. Like this is the group to group table. I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 just a a linking table. Yeah, I think it's parent group and child group. As the names, two columns, yeah. parent group and child group. Not, and I don't know if these are supposed to be in order, but the parent should be first, not second. It should be like the feature component table. Um, oh, correct. I agree. Yeah. And if the user group table is not that way, then that's busted. But it's probably, I bet the user group table is busted. I bet it's backwards because it put user first. But it should have been like feature component table too. It's basically parent child relationships. So parent should be yeah. on the left, child should be, parent should be first one, child should be second one. Okay. So, that seems reasonable, and I guess it is just group ref inside a group. Yeah, I guess that's the way to do that. Yeah, okay. That should work out okay. Yeah, that should work out okay. Um, Another possibility would be nesting of group. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Considerations. Yeah, no, don't do this. This is this is madness. Um and then group and user. It's like, yeah, let, no, let's not. Let's do the same as what user is doing. I don't think we should do it out there. Yeah. Yeah, unless it, it's it is more confusing. We have this problem with prog IDs and it doesn't it's not great. Okay, so the thing here also to think about is rollback. Probably need a session out of this about rollback, how that's gonna be handled because of the SID problem. You can't be, the, yeah, these things with SIDs, you can't, you know, like the user, Custom actions are commit custom actions because it can't be rolled back, which is unfortunate because if they fail, they don't clean up after themselves well. But yeah, there's no way around that given the fact that you can't roll back a user because if you delete them and then you create them back, you're like, hey, I put it back. You're like, no, that's a whole new user, all new SID, everything. It's bad. So probably need to just uh, think about that. Otherwise, yeah, this looks like it's following the, the pattern. I think this is probably the best way to go given the complexity around these things and the way that they, how important they are not to be deleted um, until you really want them gone, it probably is the right pattern to follow the user pattern. And it's consistent, which is a bonus. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I think a little bit of thought around the rollback 
the yeah basically the problems that users have groups have as well around rollback and all that so i i the answer probably should be the same i don't know if there's any other implications you probably can just roll back membership normally but you probably can't add oh, if it's good committed point. so you can't do it like so it's, it's like <sighs> yeah it's gonna be a little tricky so um yeah this will be a fun thing to see um I would also think we should recommend that they do this in smaller chunks so that we can, they should send a pull request sooner than later so we don't get one big, huge thing at the end. Um, yep. So especially since we don't, if since we don't, I haven't seen anything from this person, um, definitely want to highlight that they should start sending in small chunks earlier so that we could see those and set them straight on that stuff before they start doing anything hard or bigger or so on and so forth. Um, so open draft, a draft, draft PR draft. early and let us know often to look at it. This is not, this is definitely not an issue that I was said, yeah, here's one you should pick first, <laughs> but Hey, if they want to work on it. This is important to them. Uh, it makes sense. course we have to take care of it later so we have to make sure it works well so anyway and i think we can assign it to them and remove triage put it in custom actions and then it'll be good that all work out bob uh period yes okay making you type a lot i know all right sweet that's the end ended with a a doozy of a whip, but that'll be good. That'll be interesting to see. All right, cool. There we go. These two will review, see if log files come back for them because they're kind of mysterious. We're at least interested. And then that one won't be triage for long. Cool. All right. Um, next meeting is July 16th, 2024. Turns out July has five Tuesdays in it, if I remember correctly. I was looking a little bit ahead. Yeah, it has five Tuesdays in it, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, but we are doing the third one. So that'll be July 16th. Um, and we'll do all this all over again. Um, I was supposed to merge this with the next slide, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Okay, I need to put these two slides together. Uh, okay. So next meeting is July 16th. Anything else people want to talk about? Stuff, things going on, things we should know about, stuff like that. Uh, everything seems to be going fine. I like this cadence is working out. Um, we're just kind of marching on doing these things. Been really busy doing other things, so haven't got into any of the Wix 6 stuff that I want to do. But um, that's just kind of the way it is. Summer is a little bit busy here right now. Um, plus soccer and swimming is taking up most of my life outside but of not your uh, soccer and swimming. No, it's not my soccer and swimming. No, it's my kids' soccer and swimming. So yeah, lots and lots of, that's how I get my outside time. <laughs> Sitting by the pool, watching my kid do laps. <laughs> no, it's not that exciting actually. Um, cause there's a bunch of other parents all standing around and making tons of noise and, yeah, anyway, it's fun. All right, seems pretty quiet. Kind of makes sense. Things are pretty quiet right now. We're just kind of marching along doing the things. Um, Bob, you have anything else? Uh, no? Can't say that I do. All right, so next meeting is July 16th, 2024. July has five uh, Tuesdays on it. I just think that's kind of cool. We'll be back then. Uh, until then, you guys take it easy. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.